Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next session of Answers Tutorial. Today I am going to solve analysis of extension or tension or hook spring as it is called. I have already solved the analysis of helical coil compression spring. I will tag the link in the description box. You can go through it. Today I am going to solve the analysis of extension spring. So this is how the extension spring looks like. There are various applications of this extension spring. I just discussed about few of them. It is used in garage doors for controlling the easy movement of the door and it is also going to prevent the door from getting shut slamming it very hard. Many automobiles also use the tension spring in variety of ways. Most commonly it is used in carburetors. Cloth washers rely on tension spring. It keeps the washer stub balanced. There are many farm machineries and automobiles which also use the tension spring. Medical devices also make use of these springs. For example, the surgical lights, the stretchers and the handheld medical devices, they all rely on this kind of tension spring. So let's get started on its analysis. I'll go to answers. Static structural. I'll label it as tension spring. I'll go to geometry. Here I'm not going to draw the geometry. I'm just going to import the geometry. Right click. Import geometry. I'll import the extension spring which I have already saved. It is a .stb file which I have. I'll go to model and double click on it. Tension springs are supposed to bear a lot of tensile load so we will see the effect of tensile load on this component this is my screen of model i'll go to mesh i'll change the sizing to fine update I'll just align the body horizontal for easy application of my boundary conditions. I will align the body along the positive y axis. I'll go to analysis settings. On one end, right click, insert, fix support, and on the other side, I'll again select the faces. I am selecting four faces by pressing the control button. I'll apply force. I'll change vector to component. In the y direction, I'll apply 10,000. I go to solution and solve. I go to solution, right click, insert stress equivalent, right click, insert strain equivalent right click insert deformation directional i want to see the y direction deformation along which i have applied the force i'll solve so this is the stress which i have obtained you can see the stress is very less actually only at few places i can see the stress is more I'll just play it. You can see a tension effect on the spring. The helix angle over here is actually less than 10 degree. And these coils are very close to each other. I'll go to elastic strain. So this is the maximum strain that I can see. 
it's 5.3314 mm next i'll go to directional deformation and i click on animation so this is the animated view which i'm seeing you will see it's moving sideways but it's not so it's actually moving in the forward direction it's just the effect and the colors that makes it feel that it's moving sideways so this is the maximum stress which i have obtained you can increase the load on this and you can generate even uh, higher values of stress can be borne by this material so this is how an analysis is supposed to be done so i have made a very small video on this i hope you have understood how the analysis is to be done on tension spring don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next session with some more examples of component analysis or some numerical thank you mm -hmm.